Hi everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps. Let's crochet an elm leaf. This video goes along with a full written pattern and chart. We'll be referring to the chart in the video. You can get the pattern and the chart in the description on the video if you're watching this on YouTube or in the blog post if you're watching this directly on my blog. You can see I've highlighted alternate rows just to make it easier to see things. In the pattern they're actually color coded, but I only have a black and white printer. So this is how I get around that with not having a color printer. And you can certainly do the same if you're printing it out and you don't have a color printer. I'm going to work them in different colors as well. So let's start with this shade of green in the center for the foundation chain. Okay, that's not technically a row, but at the foundation chain. We're going to chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 chains. Okay, 14 of them we're going to work into. One of them is our turning chain. For my last chain, I'm going to go ahead and finish it in the next color to make that color change. When you're doing this, you're probably going to be using just one color so you don't have to make these color changes. I'm only doing it so that it's easier to see each row in the finished pattern. So there's my 15 chains. Now I'm going to work back into them, not into the last chain, but into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to slip stitch in that chain. Okay, see that little slip stitch? Then I'm going to slip stitch in the next chain as well. That's two. Single crochet, half double crochet in the next two. So single in this one, half double in the next one. Okay. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. So we're going to double crochet in each of the next six chains. I'm not working into the back loop. You can work into the chains however you like. It doesn't matter for this pattern. Okay, that's six doubles. Now I'm going to work a half double and I'm ignoring this last chain for now. So a half double and then two more singles. So let's just do those. Half double and then two more singles. Now in this last chain I'm doing a single crochet, a chain one, and then a around the corner here, another single crochet. Do you see that? So in this last chain, there is a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Single crochet, chain one, and single crochet, all in this last chain. So that is that. Now on this other side of the chain, see we've come around to the other side, I'm going to work a half double and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven doubles. This is not symmetrical because an elm leaf is not symmetrical. Then a half double and a single. So again, half double, seven doubles, half double, single. So half double. Okay, count the doubles with me. One, two, three, four, five, whoop. let's try five again, five, six, and seven doubles, okay, whoop. next we do a half double in the next chain and a single in the next chain, so half double, and a single. And finally, we're going to slip stitch in the next chain, leaving these two unworked, okay? Those are gonna be the stems. So we're gonna slip stitch in the next chain. And because I'm changing colors, I'm gonna go ahead and change colors in this slip stitch. I already cut my yarn. If you're not changing colors, you don't have to worry about that. Okay. 
This is going to be the wrong side of our work, so I'm keeping the tails in the front here on the wrong side. And I'm going to slip stitch in the next chain and turn. And we're ready for round two, row two, sorry. So row two starts with a slip stitch in that single crochet. We're ignoring the slip stitch we just made. So I'm going to ignore the slip stitch we just made and I'm going to slip stitch into this single crochet right here. So that is right there. Oh, slip stitch, not single crochet. So that's right there, slip stitch. Okay. And then we do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then this symbol means two single crochet into the next stitch. So single crochet into each of these two stitches, one, two, all right? And then two single crochet into that stitch, one, two. Then we have a half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So half double, half double, and two single crochet in the next stitch, and then a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So two single crochet in this stitch, one, two, and then a single crochet in this stitch, and a single crochet in this stitch. Then we have a slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. So slip stitch here and slip stitch here. Now we're going to chain three and then slip stitch into that chain one space we made earlier. So chain three, one, two, three, and there's that chain one space. I know it's hard to see, but it is. It's right there, that little V shape there. That's the chain one space. So I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one space right there. Okay, and that's gonna be the tip of my leaf. And doing it this way gives a little curve to the tip, which is the reason, because real life leaves are not symmetrical, right? So that's the reason that it's offset like that. So we've slip stitched there, then we're gonna come around to this side and slip stitch in each of those two single crochets. So there's one, and there's two. All right, now we're gonna single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So single, 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 okay? Two single crochet in the next stitch, one, two, double crochet in each, or sorry, half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One, two, too many tails. Two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, single crochet in the next stitch. And now slip stitch in each of the next two stitches and that's just kind of to smooth out this transition here. So we're gonna slip stitch here and we're gonna slip stitch here. And that's it, then we can fasten off. So now I have lots of ends on my leaf and you're gonna probably wanna wash and block it and pull this little point up um, and pull the little stem out. And that's how you crochet an elm leaf. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or leave me a comment. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching.